stock ticker E I G R. Let's have a look. That looks like we've got a short, short uh, signal for this. Let's have a look. It looks like this was a high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Um, and we got a, this was, looks like this is our new low here. Do any of those? But yeah, last week was pretty good. Um, I heard in global chat, most people were sitting around 10% up to 30% for last month. I think the easier general rule of thumb would be if you see a switch in global, like it moves from uptrending to downtrending, then you can um, move to break even. What's important is that you wait for the daily kind of close. Hey guys, welcome to the weekly Q&A. Can you hear me? Awesome. Where are you guys coming in from? Denmark. Awesome. Cool. Well, what's your, if it's your first time, uh, weekly Q&A here, what we're, what we're going to do here is um, if you guys have questions about strategy mode, um, anything really about BFT, you can put that into the chat box and then I'll do my best to answer any guys any questions you guys have. We've, we've got quite a few trades um, in play right now. Oh, we actually had a lot of TB3s kind of the last last week. Um, I don't know if you guys got in into any of those, but yeah, last week was pretty good. Um, I heard in global chat, most people were sitting around 10% up to 30% for last month, which is awesome. Um, yeah, it looks like we were getting a few new trades. I'm waiting for UUSD. That seems to be a um, pretty fresh one. So that, that should be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, gold is pretty fresh too. We got Disney and Netflix and Apple are shorts for equities. Um, let's, let's see how they open up. Yeah. GBP, GBP buy. Let's have a look. Um, let me open this up. Um, well, it's, it's a repeated trade. So GJ is repeated trade. It's played out um, twice now. Second position, second trade hit uh, TB3. Uh, you know, as, as, long, as long as price stays below the resistance, you know, it's a, it's a trade you can short, but the, the often it happens, you know, the, the lower the, the probability kind of gets. So you can see we had it, we have a double top here already, uh, which usually after double top, you know, price doesn't always come back to it. Of course it can, it can happen, but not all the time. So right now we can see we broke this low here. Uh, so, cause you can see there was a support here. So you can see price was rejecting double a couple of times. We had the break of that level here. Um, so now we're pretty much probably going to retest this level here and then come back down. Uh, if you took this trade a couple of times already, you can take it again. Because uh, if you made money once or twice, you know, it's okay to take it again. If it's your first time, you might want to um, wait it out a little more. Just because, again, the more repeated trade gets, the lower the prob probability is going to be. So, uh, yeah, I guess, Anders, it depends how often you took, took this trade. If you already, you know, taken this trade once, twice, then you can take it again. If you haven't, then I would skip this one. Um, and look for something else. Hi, I'm from Germany. Will we be getting the NIO stock? Uh, let's have a look. We do have European stocks in here. So yeah, it looks like NIO is in here. If that's the one you mean. I don't know which one of these you mean. Looks like there's a short available on that right now. Unless you mean the other one. Yeah, and this NIO got a uh, long entry. All right, guys, any other questions? Hello, everybody. Welcome, Dixon, Francis, Dominic, Ash. If you, if you guys have questions, feel free to put them into the chat box. Yeah, it looks like it's still got some room. You know, with stocks, if you like trading stocks, one thing you can kind of go by is, you know, if if price is above your neutral on X mode, you know, it's at a neutral level, usually it'll go to the next circle. So this one up here. Uh, so you can expect an IO to probably go to 50 bucks. If, you get, if it gets to 50 bucks, it's going to be overvalued. You're probably going to see shorts coming in. Um, it might push to 56, but really 50 is where people are, might think, you know, this thing is overvalued. Um, you might see a pullback on 37, if the pullback is strong here on the 37.5, you're probably going to see C come back all the way down to 25. Uh, the best entry here is the $25 mark. That would be the best entry. Um, and you might get that entry when, when we get a pullback from this resistance. So that will be a really good entry. Um, in terms of, you know, is, is this thing undervalued, overvalued? Um, it's hard to say at this point. I don't know too much about the company, but just by looking at the chart, it is quite bullish, but I mean, that's that, that stocks for you. Um, we still have this gap here that needs to be filled eventually. Um, but I, I think, you know, 50 is doable. We just got to break 37 first. If we, if we take the sellers out at 37, the sell wall here, I think we'll, we'll go to 50. You can see on the RTD, it's been very strong, strong uptrend. It's still gaining. You can see the global is expanding. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty strong. 
Tomorrow's my last day of my BFT Pro membership. I had it for, had it for a month, now just doing paper trades as I now want to do the dojo with you. Awesome, Dominic. Perfect, how long have you been trading? I think I, I think I talked to you in a previous call too, if I remember correctly, two months. Okay, awesome. Yeah, happy to have you. How's it going, Patrick? I've been trying to form a general rule of general rule for break even, just so I can be more consistent over time. What do you think about will, this rule of thumb? If the RTD global is converged, move to break even. So with, um, it works, but you'll get, Sometimes you'll get a false positive for those because if it, it can converge, for example, um, let me see see if I can think of a, think of an example. Um, converge. So here, this would be a, a you know a kind of a false positive. So just to give an example, so here we can see on the RTD, you know, price global was going down, it was converging, slowing down, and we almost had like a fake cross, and then we you know went back bullish again. So for me, I want to see you know a day worth or maybe a couple of days of, you know, downtrend for me to, to go back. Um, I think the easier general rule of thumb would be if you see a switch in global, like it moves from uptrending to downtrending, then you can um, move to break even. What's important is that you wait for the daily kind of close. So let's say you get up in the morning, you see, oh, global has switched, has crossed, wait for the day to finish. So you want the daily kind of to close, and then you can make a decision. For these strategy mode trades, you always want to make a decision uh, just once a day when the daily kind of closes, that's the most important kind of close when we're trading uh, strategy mode. Everything else doesn't matter um, because we're, we're taking these setups on daily. So yeah, so just make sure you wait for the daily candle to close. Stock ticker EIGR, let's have a look. That looks like we've got a short short uh, signal for this. Let's have a look. It looks like this was a high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Um, and we got a, this was, Looks like this is our new low here. This is our new low. So if we break, yeah, if we break this low over here, we're going to go all the way down to 6.2. Um, usually what you'll see, you know, if, if a neutral level breaks, it'll go to the next circle, which is this support here. So we could expect um, EIGR fall all the way to 6.25, which would line up kind of with this um, demand zone with the support. You can see it's, you know, in the past, it's kind of been ranging between uh, what price point is this? Yeah, really at where, where it is now at 9.3, it's been ranging. You can see all these bounces from that level before. Um, so it's ranging between that top and that bottom. It looks like we, you know, this week broke out here before we went back in. But now what's different this time is we're actually, we're making lower highs, lower lows away from it. So here we can see the highs were all kind of at the same point and the lows as well. But now we can see after we formed this new low, we also formed a new lower high because this high closed lower than this previous one here. So that indicates us that there's more bearish pressure coming in, which lines up perfectly with our short trade here. And if you can see from this previous high, from a lower high here, we also made a new lower high here, new new lower high here. And we made um, a new low here as well. So overall, you know, we're looking pretty bearish at this point. Um, you know, looks like some we got some sellers coming in. Uh, so, you know, it might, it might keep bouncing between these two here and eventually hit the support, um, which this support here would be a more uh, aggressive target. You know, these two, they're a lot better, more, more conservative, conservative. So I think those are targets you should aim for, which is the uh, 7.8 and what's this here? Um, 8.5. Yeah, global's down, local's down. You can, you, you can find an entry on this end. I think that'll be the best entry. I mean, it could be a bullish pullback, but you know, given the way that, structure looks, we are bearish, right? So let's look at this in the big picture. So we had a um, we had a uh, downtrend here, then we had a consolidation. Usually what happens is when when you, when you a consolidation goes in bearish, so we're bearish here, then we went into consolidation, it'll go out bearish too. Um, of course, this could be accumulation where price will push up, but you know, we, we play with what we have. The overall trend is, is down. That means if it came in bearish, it'll go up bearish too. And that's, and yes, you are. We are in a, a bullish uh, kind of pullback, bullish channel. So that's why this here would be a more aggressive uh, target. And these ones here, these would be um, better targets that are more, um, that have a higher probability. This one here will be more aggressive. But yeah, it looks, again, we're pretty bearish. So this is a pretty, pretty good short um, for TP1 at least, TP2. But yeah, we are bearish. I mean, we could go into the weekly even if you want, which we don't really trade, but you can see it's been a downtrend for a while. AAVE, that one I don't see. Looks like we don't have that one. Unless it's one of these Binance ones. 
Is it a crypto or is it a um, stock? Crypto, oh, okay. Okay, let's open BTC one. Okay, this one doesn't have a lot of data. Let's, let's try a different one. Um, maybe use D. I guess this was just listed or what? So look, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, we don't have a lot of data on this one, but yeah, it is down. So this, you could say this was a high, lower high, and we broke this previous low. This is a new low, so we are pretty bearish. Um, when we're bearish, we're only looking for sales. So in this case, your entry would be on this neutral level here. Um, this would be your TP1, this would be your TP2, and that would be your uh, trade here. So your, your best entry level will be um, this neutral here. That would be your best entry. Of course, if price goes further down, let's say the price doesn't go up here, instead it goes further down, then this guy would be your best entry. So you can probably just set, set a buy, uh, sell limit here and wait to get triggered. Um, so your stop loss would be stop loss up here and then one, TP2. It's a swing trade, so it of course would take a little longer. But yeah, this would be the setup here. Yeah, but I, I don't want to give you guys X mode setups here just because um, strategy mode does that. And I don't want to put you guys into bad trades that you can't manage. We've got the elections coming up tomorrow too. So we'll see how that uh, affects the US dollar and some of the stocks. Yeah, Disney, I could really expect it to fall all the way down to 99. Because it, it failed to recover um, to their kind of the winter prices up here. So during Corona time, they still, they made a pullback but only kind of to fill this gap that was created. It looks like this, so this is a new high here. So this was the high because it failed to close above the previous one here. And this is our next lower high. So this support breaks will fall all the way down to uh, 100. All right, guys, any other questions? I'm not gonna do any more stock reviews, but if you guys have further questions, let me know. Yeah, there's a short on gold um, already up. Um, looks like it's heading there now. Yeah, it's been, I mean, you, yeah, you could say it's been repeated a couple of times. So, uh, Sigma might have only come on, I think, recently, but yeah, it's been repeated. You can see this level has been hit a couple of times. So, yeah, it has a low prob probability. But if you see a strong rejection, that means that level is still in play. And you could still get um, TP1, TP2 in this. So, we'll see what it does. This AUD NZD one is still good too. Um, it hasn't been repeated. I'm still waiting for the entry on this. Yeah, we got the, yeah, we got the Zar. If you go into exotics, there's the uh, USD Czar. I actually used to trade this one. But yeah, I don't trade exotics anymore. USD, USD Mexican was good too. Do you recommend we save the entry and exit outputs as good to cancel on a broker so we don't have to keep staring at charts? Um, I mean, you, I guess you could. What you would just, you know, you don't really have to start the charts. Just set up your buy and sell limits and just wait to get triggered. Just make sure you have a stop loss and TP in place, just like the strategy one gives you. Um, I always do good till cancelled, so I don't even, you know, if the algo disappears, my limit order stays. I don't put a expiry date on the order. Yeah, just, so just set up the limit order. Um, don't need to cancel them if they haven't played out yet. You, you can start fresh every week if you want. But yeah, I, I keep them all the time. Does that answer your question, Francis? Okay, awesome. Yeah, there was, there was a trade a couple uh, weeks ago. I had set up from, might have been July or August. And it just got triggered a couple of weeks ago in the TPs. So sometimes it can take a while. And the algo didn't show it um, either. I just still had it had it there. Of course, and sometimes, you know, trend can change during that time. And that's when you want to try to get out. But in this case, yeah, played up perfectly. All right, guys, that's it. that's it for today. If you guys have further questions, put them into the global chat. Um, recording will be up on YouTube later on. And uh, yeah, like always, thanks for joining. Make sure to watch the weekly market review that got, that got uh, published today. And um, make sure to download the, the handbook, the new handbook that's in the uh, global chat as well. Just type in handbook and then Grace will send that to you. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.